Our furry friends sometimes need to have medication. Tom Tom is one of those, but it should never be a fight and it should never be a struggle. If you have them on a table, or I'm gonna show another technique after of them on the floor, with your body against them so they can't back up and your arms on the side so they can't wiggle, having a secure, firm grip, and just reassuring them makes this a much more pleasant experience. Open the side of their mouth, put the pill in the back of their throat, and then rub, massage their neck until they swallow. What a good boy. And your furry friend will be feeling better in no time. What a good Tom Tom. And he needs to also have pills. He's one of my most difficult ones to give. He's very young and he struggles a lot. So I'm gonna try first on the table and show how he can really move too much for me sometimes. Take the pill, open the mouth, put it as far back as you can and massage until he swallows. Good boy. Yes, that's a good boy. Now, this is a, another medication for him and it's in a syringe and it makes it much more difficult. He doesn't like it and it tastes terrible. So same again, I'm using my arms to brace, bringing his mouth back and as he's wiggling, I'm not hurting him. I'm just holding him firmly. You never want to hurt them. And I'm using the back of my body to keep him from coming backwards. Quickly put it in the back of his mouth and massage. And say, good boy, Arthur. Yes, that's a good boy. Now the next technique is on the floor. I find this better for some cats in the beginning when you need a lot more control. Make sure you don't kneel on their tails and you're going to cross your feet in the back so they can't move backwards. And this is good for really squirming cats because they're nice and they're comfortable and you're using your legs to hold them so both arms have a little bit more movement. And it's really good when you have a very big squirmer like Arthur. Take the pill and again, you don't have to rush. Take your time, open the mouth, throw it in the back and massage. He is not, he makes a weird noise, but I am not hurting him. The pill, and again, I'm holding him firmly. My arms are free, my legs are doing the work. My ankles are crossed so he can't move backwards. And he really is not good at this. He's young and he's big and he's strong. So take your time. So you take the pill, make sure it's in your, in your finger, throw it in the back of the throat, and then massage. This should not be unpleasant and it should be very quick. A little practice too. Now, these are two techniques that I like. You'll find what works best. You never want them to either fall off a table or wiggle where they get away from you. The medication is important to get in them. So just take your time, be comfortable with it. If you need to, just practice the hold with them first. Get them used to you holding them like this. Maybe give them a treat or two and just have them comfortable and then give them the pills. Good boy, Arthur. Yay!